Okay, this is part two of adjusting the valves on a Yamaha XS650. Um, I forgot to mention in the first two videos, hopefully you watched part one, both videos. Uh, this needs to be done on a cold engine. Okay, this is a cold adjustment. I've also unhooked the battery for safety purposes and removed the spark plugs. One, to get rid of the compression, and two, so you can look through the spark plug and look for the dirty little piston to make sure it's a top dead center. Um, again, uh, we got the bike to top dead center. I'm going to go through real fast and just do this to double check. Okay, exhaust valve is going down, opening. Exhaust valve is closed. So the intake valve is going down and opening it. Now I want to wait till it comes back up. Then I'm going to stop. I'm going to move down here and look at my rotor. And I'm going to be looking for... The mark, there's the numbers mark, the timing marks here on the rotor. I want to make sure to finesse it because it's a pain in the butt. Over to the right side of the T where the timing mark is. You always want to put it in the same spot, and there it is. Okay. So let me go up, and you probably can't see it, but looking for the dirty little piston. Okay. Now, previously on the other videos, I checked my valves. My valves were okay. All right. I checked them with the point zero zero two four feeler gauge. I can get this out. Um, so I don't need to adjust them on the intake. Remember to check the manual for which ones for your specific year and model and make sure you have the correct adjustment. You don't want to put these at the wrong spec, okay? So here's my correct feeler gauge. The correct one goes. And as I said before, you want to make sure that goes, and the next side up doesn't go. Next side's up, and that doesn't go. That's good. I don't need to adjust them. If you do need to adjust them, I'm going to go over that. What you want to do is, you want to get your 12 millimeter wrench, okay? 12 millimeter wrench, and you're going to loosen this lock nut, okay? And then you're going to turn the tappet, like I said, I have a hex, not the standard square head. I have a hex, and I'm going to turn that to tighten or loosen it. One rule of thumb you want to make sure you do. When you do this, you can mess this up really fast, and then you're going to be all over the place. This is a little bit of a finesse. It's a pain in the butt. You always want to put your wrench on here first and loosen up your lock nut. When you do this, you're going to notice that your tap is going to move. It's going to move. So you kind of have to do this two hands at once. So you want to make sure whatever you're using to hold your tap it, hold your tap it tight, and then turn your lock nut and loosen your lock nut. Okay? That way your tap it stays in place. Um, you got to be careful with this. Then you want to check, 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 check. So then you're going to get your feeler gauge. And a lot of times what I do is I get my feeler gauge. And I put it in there, since the lock nut is loose, I can put this in here, and then I turn my tap it very lightly. You don't need to turn it much at all. And see, now it's too tight. You turn a little bit. And it's just where I want it. Once you do that, this is where you want to be really easy and ginger. And without moving anything, get your lock nut ready. Hold your tap it in place and turn your lock nut and lock it down. Okay? You don't need to kill it. Honestly, if you tighten that too much, you're actually going to open the gap. And you're going to recheck. It's good. Okay? The go goes and the no go doesn't. All right? What I always do is, and I suggest you do this, you rotate the engine back through its cycle to double check. I guarantee if you get that where you want it and you rotate the cycle, the engine back around, it's going to be off. So, exhaust valve is opening, exhaust valve is closing, intake valve is opening, intake valve is closing. That's when you stop. Go down your rotor. Now you're looking for your mark. Okay, and you just want to finesse it counterclockwise, 
just so it's on the mark. Okay? And you're going to go back up. And you're going to put your dough gauge in there, the correct clearance. And it works. You're going to get your no-go, which is the next size up. You can see that doesn't want to go. Okay? So the go goes. And the no-go doesn't. You just want to have it slide in there a little bit, just dragging. You don't want to force it. Okay, that valve is good. So to recap on this one, what I did was I made sure I was at top dead center on the compression stroke. There's no pressure on the intake valve. I put my wrench on the lock nut. I held the tap it with the tool I'm using. I loosened my lock nut. And without turning the tap it, I got my feeler gauge and checked it. And I turned, I tightened it just a hair. I mean, these are just a hair, like a quarter, like an eighth of a turn, maybe. Just till it's just till it's tight enough to stop dragging. And I backed it off just a little bit until it was free to go in there. Just like that. Then I held the tappet in place. Very slowly and gingerly pulled this out to get the wrench back around. You can use the box end or the open end. I like to use the box end, I get a little bit more. I put that on there. I held the tap in place and I tightened my lock nut. You don't need to kill it, just nice and tight. I went back and I rechecked it. The correct one goes. The next size up does not go. Okay? And then I went through the cycle. Exhaust valve is opening, exhaust valve is closing, intake valve is opening, intake valve is closing. And I go down and I align my rotor so that the mark on the rotor is lined up with the timing mark which is on the right hand side of the T mark. Right hand side T mark, the timing mark is aligned with the rotor. Okay? That valve is complete. Like I said, make sure you go back around the horn a couple times and recheck these to make sure because sometimes they will be off. Alright? Next step, I'm going to go over the exhaust valve and we'll check out the other side.